The Gold Coast is an absolutely beautiful place to study. It has pristine beaches, the hinterlands, everybody's friendly and everybody's very supportive. I really enjoy that about the Gold Coast and about Christmas. Okay, so Brandon wanted me to say we're we're going out to location. <laughs> Been pretty fortunate based on having a YouTube channel with all of you watching and supporting us and being part of the Griffith Mates program. So that's a program where we welcome international students when they first arrive to Griffith from their home countries. I've been approached by the Griffith marketing team to make an advertisement kind of thing, show, showcasing what it's like to live in Australia, what Australia has to offer, and a little bit about the dental program that I'm in at Griffith. We're heading to location one, as Brandon <laughs> says, and it's out in Springbrook. We're going to showcase a little bit about how the filming occurs for YouTube, uh, social media a bit, and hiking in the hinterlands around the Gold Coast area. So we're just heading up now and the, the official film crew is going to meet us there. And they said that it would be okay for us to film the behind the scenes. So hopefully I don't screw it up too much and they actually use, <laughs> use my stuff in some type of uh, advertisement for international students. And you can see how that turns out. <laughs> So we're at location one, Canyon Lookout. So it's overlooking Twin Falls. We are currently getting set up for shooting. This first portion of filming was the interview portion, hence the insanely large microphones. They also had these huge reflectors to remove weird shadows from my face when they were filming. Uh, tripods and gimbals, along with a variety of cameras and lenses. So this interview portion was actually quite awkward. A bit of both. I wasn't expecting that part to be first, so I felt a little bit unprepared. On top of that, they would ask a question and then I would have to place that question in my response, which apparently I'm terrible at. <laughs> so I had to repeat some of the answers multiple times because I would miss putting the question uh, at the very beginning to give meaning to what I was saying or sometimes my tone wouldn't be quite right. Like throwing in a question inflection where it just didn't make sense. <laughs> it just goes to show that my YouTube videos are actually authentic me in the moment because I cannot do a script to save my life. <laughs> so what I'll get you to do is look straight at the shine and I'll get you to smile? Yeah, smile, smile, <laughs> smile and look at her. I'm just gonna get sort of a nice Go from no smile to smile. <laughs> that feels weird. Yeah, smile. Like someone just told you the best joke. I love it. A bit of. Oh. Do a little bit more talking to the camera. <laughs> now, you, are you both going jacket on or are you alright? I think I'm okay. Alright, where are we going to next? The uh, greatest of all look at or whatever it's called. It's kind of chilly, but okay. bring it with you anyway. It's okay if you wear it. Yeah, sounds good. So we just wrapped up the interview portion and thankfully they know how to edit because I don't know how to talk, I guess. <laughs> You're not good at repeating questions. I'm terrible at repeating questions. We <laughs> uh, tried really hard though, so. <laughs> so we get to ride in a Tesla. How fancy. So we'll try one with the you want it like on this side instead? Is that better? Because of the little thing? Okay, so I'm just going to keep talking and pretend like I'm talking to the camera so it looks natural. <laughs> I'm actually filming. <laughs> I love it. It's nice and awkward. <laughs> Alright, so let's go for um, another one. Filming yourself as if it's here and you're doing a piece to your chin. And I'll just actually film. Do you want me like talking or do you want yeah. me like shooting? A bit of both. A bit of both. Okay. Uh, you can start say where you are then. Oh, so you, you're going to walk back with me um, then? Just stay on the spot for now. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Yep. So kind of talk like this a little bit, talking to the camera. Do a little and bit of a spin for me, like very slowly, like moving around. Yep. Just spin so like that. Environment. Okay. You're totally in it. <laughs> Doing a little bit of spinning. And then we can also do a little bit of turning and filming. 
filming a YouTube video. And now, uh, flip it the other way as if you're filming some other way for yourself. Okay. You said it's so I'm going to stay, try along here. I'm going to do a bit of like going from your shoes walking to like up to you walking. Okay. Try a bit of both and see how we go. Okay. Half the speed of what you're normally walking. Yeah, like take it So slow. you can go a bit slower as if you're doing a leisurely stroll rather than. Yeah. But you're shooting on my shoes? We're going to go. She's shooting me too. We're, I'm going to come up to you and she's probably going to be just shooting the best. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so. Just start walking. Go for it. See the film crew, that's Michael and Shauna. I should have done a little filming introduction of them for the video, but they're really good at staying on task and actually getting the filming done. <laughs> uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my time working with them. They're super easy to chat with and joke around with, and they gave great direction on what they needed from me and what their vision was for the overall filming. I'll go Where the sun's sort of hitting on the okay. direction there. Smile. I don't know if he wants me to go for no, serious. No, smile. go um, serious to smiling. Some of it was quite difficult, like answering why I wanted to become a dentist. In the ad, it summed up in a single sentence, when the story is much more complicated than that. As you know, we tend to have many reasons that kind of compound together to motivate us to do something. My reason for dentistry is no different. I was fortunate to know many great dentists growing up, and that may be a story for another time. What an interesting background noise we have going on here. <laughs> I don't know either, I can't even tell you. So the second part was more about filming a hike. So it was still in Springbrook, but we focused more on walking through the hinterlands and going towards a lookout. So we ended up getting a lot of different shots. Ended up putting on my jacket because it was starting to get quite cool because the sun was starting to set. And that was one of the shots that they really wanted, but unfortunately it was a bit overcast that day. So we didn't get a nice beautiful sunset in the background. This portion was quite interesting to film because not only were they walking backwards and there's a lot of obstacles like trees and rocks along the path that they had to watch out for, but there's also quite a bit of changing light. Once you're in the trees, it's quite difficult to film because it starts getting quite dark, so you get a little bit more of a grainy footage as opposed to being out in direct light. So I think we got some really good shots, especially with the sun poking through the trees. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, face me though, and use that as your background. So yeah, okay. That. That's it. You don't want to be in my background? <laughs> well, we will. <laughs> I'm just going to talk so that it seems more natural. I'll get you to step up here, okay. and then we will use this as the background, and I'll move okay. um, uh, So flip around do the other way, sorry. I just, I like how this is lighting your face. I do see that in my own. <laughs> we have 3% battery. It is like, uh, it's on its last. Yeah, so we're at the top of the, the lookout. We made it. It's so exciting. <laughs> Brandon looks so miserable. <laughs> I just don't want to be in the way. Tell me if you want me to stop moving. No, you're right. Okay. It's, it looks quite good and dynamic. More hands, okay. Talking. More yeah. talking like and. <laughs> when you wave, like, uh, you're filming, like, because if you like say hi guys, uh, like, would you be doing that kind of? Thing? Not, not usually, <laughs> but I can. <laughs> you know, uh, when you're like, hi guys. <laughs> It usually starts with like, we're on the road, we're headed to a hike, <laughs> and then like going through sometimes. I think the last one we were very warm, so it was, whose idea was it to go hiking in the middle of the day? <laughs> Actually, I watched that video. <laughs> the, the Noosa one? <laughs> yeah, in preparation for this, so I checked out. Excellent. I feel like I'm doing a lot of smiling. <laughs> well, that's natural for Got the drone out. And Possibly filming some shots. Should we film some audio? A couple more. It is very like hazy. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna try this. You almost need like the yeah. sun or no sun? You having fun? Yep. Beats working. Beats working. <laughs> what, what have you learned today? Film something good that's not just point and shoot. Definitely isn't point and shoot. It's, it's a lot of do that again, do that again. It's a lot of work. <laughs> get it from here, there. Probably the most important is light. 
Are you stepping out of frame? <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool to see the lens zoom and stuff. Do pan shot. Just gonna get a nice little bit of night footage. We're heading back from our first day of filming at three location two. Two locations. We didn't go to the third one because the sunset wasn't happening. It's too cloudy. It'll be a busy day tomorrow. Just got back home. So first day of filming. Brandon's coming tomorrow to check out Sim Lab. It was a good day. Did was, you have fun? It was neat. It was neat to see the behind the scenes. I've seen like photo shoots before, but never like video shoots. They have a lot to think about with the uh, moving components, which is quite interesting to see. Brandon got to see a lot more than me because they were pointing the camera at my face or my feet or so, <laughs> something for the majority. So go in, eat some stuff, pack for tomorrow, figure out what I'm gonna wear. It's gonna be fun. One more day. Okay, so we have a couple different outfits packed. My mate's uniform, in case they want me to wear that. We have a casual outfit, something I would wear to the beach, and then possibly Goombaba, because we talked about maybe filming with some kangaroos in the background, and then my dental scrubs. Already Tuesday morning, and I'm gonna start getting ready for the shoot. Right, so I'm just about ready. I just have to go do my hair, get my scrubs on. Oh, also, Got the alien socks on. That was like toy fun socks. Fun socks. Okay, so it's just about time to go. It's 8.30. I think we're leaving sometime after 9. Definitely have to eat breakfast still, but I'm all ready to go. <laughs> Fixed my hair. Well packed. A whole bunch of change of clothes, dental tools. Ooh. And shouldn't forget my Oops, battery. Raining a little bit. So this is the sim lab over here. This is the dispensary where the different technicians can sign us out different instruments or whatever that we need. So if we need extra dental dams or anything, we come to them. This is my regular station, number 31. So this is Roger, he's my sim head. <laughs> and once the camera crew arrives, I can show you how I have to switch it to the other side for left-handed people. Because this tray usually goes on the other side. When I say I actually have like a sheet, tells you how to properly wash your hands. In your different hand pieces to oil. So it's all automatic. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Don't just spray WD 40 down the tube. Two. No. <laughs> and then this is usually where they put any of the things that we need. So, like, if we're using amalgam, they'll put the amalgam trays in the dispensary things. So you can grab micro brushes, cotton pellets, and stuff. This is in case you spill, so if one of the heads leaks on the floor, somebody doesn't drain it properly, you have to wipe it up. And here we got our bib thing that we put on our trays, and some other stuff that I think we're using next year. Oh, some type of putty and waxes and refills. Grab some gloves, face mask. I know you're not gonna be able to see my face anymore. Gloves on. <laughs> we do this before we even start setting up our stations. And now we're really ready to go to set up stuff. <laughs> and since we're waiting, this is not station dependent. Yeah, so it, it is for all that seats. Oh, hang on. It's not in the. Um, okay, it yeah, could be the cable that I rolled up before thinking it was audio cable for the audio band. Could be that. Which is the car. Yeah. 
It's how we it say that for lefty. <laughs> But I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I'm going to move that. I think it's the audio bag. Yeah. Do you want to run it? Yeah. Otherwise, the other goat on here definitely has it. Just in case they want to stand. Okay. So what sort of activity do you normally do at this stage? Sort of sit down looking at the mouth? Yeah, so I brought some different things. So we actually start on this. This is our training block that we start in Taiwan <laughs> for drilling. These are our adult teeth and then in third year, so I haven't done this yet, we have, these are our pediatric teeth. <laughs> so I brought them all because I didn't know nice. what you were interested in seeing. And then if they want anything for polishing, you have the low speed. And then this is our cure light. Gun. Gonna do a little bit of tidying. Okay, so just walk me through before you do it because we're we'll obviously gonna get the actions once. Just show me what you're sort of gonna do. Yes, and we'll we practice. Gonna do so I decided the best one to use is probably this lower quadrant right here. Okay, yeah. So I pre punched the dam and put it on that because it's it's kind of a boring thing to watch. That's right. um, and then I'll use this clamp to put it in, floss it through the teeth make sure that it fits around and then from there we can start. So I have one that I was working on on Friday that I built like the one wall up but I can still fill in those kind of areas. So I figured that could be a, a filling one. Okay. Yep. And then the one behind it right here I punched so that that can be the drilling. Yep. If you want like one of each. And that is kind of in the same area. Right. We will um, break before we do that and we'll figure out how to best shoot. Okay. You can literally tell me to stop at any time. Yeah, you that's not good. To, to break a bit. Alright, so yeah. there might be any hair some shot. We are in the sim clinic. This isn't actually my unit. They made me move down so that there is a better background. And I'm just currently getting all set up, ready to go. So for left-handed people, I kind of showed that you have to rearrange the station. Everything tends to be on the opposite side. Luckily, our units allow us to do that, which is pretty cool. So after rearranging, I got all of my instruments set up. So we have the high speed and the slow speed, along with putting my teeth into the mannequin. And we decided to do possibly a couple different things. So. First, we wanted to do almost like an inspection of the teeth. Uh, it allows them to get a little bit closer in to film because there's not a ton of water being generated. So it's a lot easier to do a lot of different angles, including one that they incorporated uh, based on one of my ideas, which is really cool. So on social media, every once in a while you see a really cool angle and around this time it was really popular for people to put a small camera in the mannequin head so that you could see them working on the actual teeth from the mouth perspective, I guess. So we tried to do this, but we had to get a little bit more creative so that we could film with their large cameras. So Michael set up the teeth onto the lens and used his hands to form the cheeks. And then I could bend over the camera and work on it. That'll match perfectly with like a shot we could do later when you're having a look. Do, would you, before you start drilling, you wouldn't put the dam in yet, you're just inspecting the teeth without a dam? Uh, not you in sim lab right. like, but we can we can do that as I'm just thinking as like a quick match a story. yeah yeah match just to match this shot yeah. and then everything else we'll yeah. do with the dam as if you might in a class yeah it might make sense because we could possibly even use the split screen thing one where it's the yeah. shot one way we're out sure. <laughs> the jaw yeah. poor thing just Hello. like ended <laughs> dang it that's a loose jaw yeah and then I stare out of my thumbs in and I was trying not to get my nails in but even if they're shiny it yeah. can kind of look like spit yeah that's right <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I like that. Also, like how the jaw moves a little bit when yeah. you. <laughs> Can't see when I do that. We also decided just drilling 
not filling because it is a little bit more dynamic. Ended up drilling one of the lower teeth out while they rotated around. Also did rubber dam placement because that's outside the mouth and there's a lot to visually see. So unfortunately, uh, the ad is not technically accurate to what we would do in the lab or a clinic per se because you want something that is visually engaging. So took creative liberties, I guess you could say. <laughs> so I was quite lucky. There was the lab assistant, Paula, that opened up the lab and had everything ready to go for us. And Dr. Yakimov also stopped in and helped facilitate the entire filming process, which was really nice of them. It was great to have Griffith open up the lab to actually film this. They usually don't open the lab for students for like extra practice or anything so this was a really unique experience because I was the only one in there and I actually got to use the equipment and kind of demonstrate what we do in the lab which was quite fun and luckily Brandon came along because I wouldn't be able to show any behind the scenes otherwise so you could kind of see that he walked around and he was filming what they were doing and because I was quite engaged in the actual filming set it was really difficult. It would have been impossible. It would have been impossible for me to f shoot a behind the scenes without him. So I was really glad that he came along. Also, it was a really unique experience. So I'm glad that he got to experience it with me and get to see the inside of my sim lab and actually see me work, which was also something that was quite exciting because as you could probably tell, if you're not a dental student, you're not allowed in the lab and you're only allowed in the lab at very specific times. Getting him to be involved was quite special. And it's quite interesting to see that over two whole days we filmed a lot of different footage and a lot of it actually hadn't been used. So some of the clips that are within this video are actually from the film crew's cameras themselves, so Michael and Shauna's cameras which is really nice that they gave me some of their footage. But it just goes to show that you film a whole bunch of stuff and then you're taking the very best of the clips to make. I believe the longest advertisement was 30 seconds long. So a lot of their hard work you don't even get to see, which is unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> we broke it. I broke it. Yeah. That's all right, we might keep going. Um, so we'll keep trying to do a shot. Sure, because it's possible. Can I go one really close? on the automatic. So just turning on the one that I'm using. Slide that on, face it towards the pad. And go. And then it'll just run its cycle and when it's done the lights will go off and I can come and grab it. <laughs> I'll do it in a very specific order. Back I am and make sure this is the other way so that my finger doesn't get scratched. Oof, takes a second for it to adjust. Okay. Okay, so we finished the first part of filming in the sim lab. Got some really cool shots. We were in there for like a good three hours. <laughs> um, so hopefully at least one or two things worked. Dr. Yakimov and Paula were helping us out. Now we're just gonna go have lunch and then we're gonna do some shots around campus. So it should be fun. We headed outside and did a little bit of filming walking outside of G40. So that's the main dental building on campus. And we did a couple different shots walking towards and away from the camera. It was quite an involved process. We did it a couple different times. Cause as you can see, they have a gimbal and while they're walking, they can't really see the screen. We had to do a couple different takes. 
and it was really dependent on how fast I walked and how fast they walked and the panning speed so it was quite interesting and after that we did a quick costume change hopped into my mate's uniform so we could get a couple clips with that that was this was the easy day because there was a lot of uniforms so I didn't have to figure out what I needed to wear <laughs> Yeah, so I popped into my mate's uniform to do a little bit of filming because the mate's program is quite important to me. I enjoy it. It's actually one of my favorite things about Griffith. So I definitely wanted to showcase that. And then we did another quick costume change into something a little bit more casual, something that was beachy appropriate. <laughs> so first we popped out to Kumbaba, which is the nature reserve that is close by to the school has a whole bunch of kangaroos and some koalas as well. So we wanted to showcase some of the wildlife of Australia within the advertisement. So we were quite lucky we got there and there was quite a few out grazing and because it was a little bit later in the day we had a little bit of shadows as well so it wasn't quite so warm to be out filming in. We got a, quite a few different shots of different kangaroos, moms and their babies, they're really adorable. And luckily these ones, even though they're wild, they're not really, really wild. So it was easy to kind of walk around and get a couple different shots in front of them and behind them to give a little bit of visual interest. And then we were really, really lucky because there was a koala right by the front entrance, which rarely happens. Usually they're a little bit further back in the park in the specific koala area and then they're usually really really high up in the tree so they're really difficult to see but this one was nice and close to the ground so we actually got a pretty good clip of it in the tree and it was only a, about a couple minute walk from exactly where the kangaroos were so it was really efficient and quite special. We jumped back in the car and we headed to Broadwater Parklands so we didn't film directly on the beach, we filmed on more of a inlet. Uh, so it's very close to the actual ocean, but because it's a little bit more inland, you don't have to fight with the wind quite as much in your camera mics, and the waves aren't quite as strong. So we were able to get some more close-ups of walking on the beach without getting drenched by the ocean waves. Unfortunately, Brandon couldn't get too, too much of this filming because, well, first of all, I stole the camera. They wanted a little bit of me shooting YouTube videos and because he had to hold one of the big reflector things because the sun was shining on my face quite weirdly, so they wanted him to dampen the direct sunlight. And there was still quite a bit of wind for him because he was holding this big thing that was like a big sail. I love how we're recording this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting to hear what I say later. Just doing some filming. <laughs> awesome. That's it. That's a wrap. It's a wrap, Brandon. It's gonna turn out because of the road though. <laughs> well, we'll try it anyway. So we're in Main Beach. This was the last location of the shoot. Uh, we did a little bit at the school in the sim lab and then a little bit out in front in front of G40, stopped at Kumbhava to get some shots with the kangaroos, and then main beach for a little bit of beach shot. And now we're basically done. We did so much hard work. <laughs> They're gonna do a whole bunch of editing. They're definitely doing the harder work. And we're headed home. Day two. That's a wrap. Yep, that's a wrap. <laughs> I think we both had a really, really fun time and we were quite excited to see the finished product, which as you can see by now that we've actually already seen the ad. So that's quite exciting. And if you want to check it out, you can watch it here.